hello, this is the third of the, uh, three talks. The first talk, we get, talked about patient selection and history of surgical intervention for hypertonicity. The second one were surgical nuances of implanting drug infusion pumps. This third one will be on troubleshooting uh, the Synchromed infusion system. Uh, again, it's, it's isolated to the Synchromed system uh, because many of, it, many of these are specific uh, tricks uh, based on the uh, Synchromed system. Again, disclosures, I've received honorariums from Medtronic for teaching, research, and consulting on product development. Uh, Medtronic has not reviewed, edited, or approved this talk. I may discuss procedures or uses for intrathecal baclofen that are not in the FDA labeling. I am only sharing personal experience and I'm not making any recommendations on behalf of Medtronic. Let's talk about problems with pumps. The first problem is overdosage. Uh, overdose can come as a programming error, a subdural catheter, or a thing called pocket fill. Very important to understand that the pump will not and has never spontaneously overdose the patient. It is designed in such a way that the, it internally checks the flow rate uh, virtually continuously and shuts the system down if there is an error in flow rate. However, uh, humans program the pump, so uh, the wrong dose can be entered, the wrong drug concentration can be entered, and the wrong bolus. Again, we talked in the last one about where is the drug, and there's a big da danger with uh, overdose with catheter revisions. We'll talk about that later. Again, where is the drug? We went over this in the last one. A drug can be in the reservoir, in the internal pump tubing, or in the catheter. Uh, baclofen is an effective neurotransmitter in the brain, and the Synchromed 2 pump reservoir holds 20 to 40 mLs of drug, uh, which again um, can be uh, in 2 to 3,000 micrograms uh, in baclofen, 25 to 50 mil micrograms uh, in morphine. If, the, if while filling the needle comes out of the reservoir or was inadvertently not in the reservoir, that entire uh, uh, 40 mLs of 2,000 microgram per mil or 80 milligrams of baclofen can go into the pocket uh, and that can lead to difficulties with overdose. Uh, much more serious is a pocket fill uh, done with morphine or a narcotic. Many times there's 25 to 50 milligram per mil drug. Uh, 40 mLs of that uh, absorbed can lead to uh, significant respiratory depression. There has been reports of rare respiratory depression with pocket fills from baclofen. And pocket fills shouldn't happen if good technique is used, especially at the end of the refill, aspirating back to make sure that you can get drug out easily to ensure that it was all in the reservoir. So when there is an overdose, it's very similar to other GABA agonists, uh, such as a benzodiazepine. Uh, overdose. So there's progressive decrease in tone to flaccid, confusion, hypotension, bradycardia, hypoventilation going on to apnea and coma. The treatment is support, volume, airway, ventilation, pressors. Physostigmine is list, was initially listed in the Medtronic literature. I think it has now been taken out. Uh, it is not an antidote. It is a uh, cholinergic stimulant. Uh, most of you are familiar with atropine, which is an anticholinergic, and you know that atropine causes increase in heart rate and decrease in oral secretions. Physostigmine is exactly the opposite. So as somebody is lapsing into coma from an overdose, uh, you really don't want to increase the secretions in their mouth, and you don't want to induce bradycardia. So what is the treatment of overdose? You can turn off the pump. There are two ways to turn off the pump. One is to use the programmer, and you can uh, turn it down to minimal infusion. The other way is to take the drug out of the pump. If you stick the, uh, middle of the stick the middle of the pump into the reservoir and pull all the drug out of the pump, the pump will go round and round thinking it's still working, but no drug will leave the pump, no drug will go into the patient, and you can, anybody can effectively stop the pump, including emergency room doctors.